holiday season. Courtesy of La Familia. The good news is for the first father and son tag team in reality of wrestling history, they get a rematch this week in our main event. Even after losing the tag team championships to La Familia Christmas Chaos, they still had enough victories in the W column to warrant an automatic rematch. One of a kind, never cloned him at all. After this, she ain't gonna like me, though. Let's see if lightning can strike twice for La Familia. Differences sometimes with the Road Nation or people backstage, but we are still reality of wrestling to our core. And they came out and they proved it. Diego de la Cruz and Jonathan Vega, these are their first championships in their reality of wrestling career. Aiden Cristiano, of course, was a former reality wrestling tag team champion as well as television and heavyweight champion here at the Road. In 2019, there were two major stories within the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Division. Obviously, the first father and son tag team in row history, which later captured gold, would be Hawks Aries, Luke, and PJ Hawks. The other, of course, is Team Fly Death, and what has occurred in both of their singles careers since being dethroned by Hawks Aries. But we've been seeing it building slowly behind the scenes. La Familia, pin attempt here, kick out at one. La Familia getting closer and closer, becoming a more cohesive unit. And now they have captured the tag team championships. They were certainly the sleeper of last year, you have to admit. Oh, absolutely, Matt Topolsky. And I think that really played to their advantage. Here's the thing, La Familia won these championships in an open challenge. Again, the Hawks Aries put themselves at a very big disadvantage as now PJ tags in his dad, Luke Hawks. And I think that the disadvantage continues for Hawks Aries, even though they're a phenomenal tag team, uh, to come in here and not know who you're going to face again for the second time in a row. I mean, I, the, the, the ball is firmly in La Familia's court in my mind. Luke Hawks, so strong, so dominant inside that ring.
Diego De La Cruz, obviously the bigger between the two men in his team, but he is still agile and quick as they come. After some jaw jacking with the Haas Luke Hawks. He's now trying to get some big offense in and like that, man. Diego De La Cruz, head scissors. Glory of offense here from the tag team champions. Luke Hawks gets his son PJ involved. Jonathan Vega. PJ doesn't realize it. And now, La Familia numbers game working, man. Oh, beautiful. Hit attempt here to retain. Oh, look at that. We'll talk about speed. Did you see how quick Luke Hawks just went in there to break that up? Wow. And a tag to the veteran. Oh, Luke Hawks now just backing Jonathan Vega into the corner and going after him like a hungry dog. I think he's upset about losing those championships. You can say that again. The Vega from up top, oh. and scissors yet again. Every time Luke Hawks attempts to reimpose his will, La Familia has an answer. Oh, God! Jeez. Wow. Jonathan Vega just went for a ride, and it was not a soft landing. Hopefully he's okay. I mean, oh, that has got to be a game changer for sure. Sure is. The momentum has now just shifted in the corner of Hawks Aries. Luke and PJ Hawks now have a wounded member of La Familia. You can hear a shattering and a buzz in this arena after that crash and burn by Jonathan Vega. We're talk about crash and burn. Jonathan Vega collapsing like a Jenga tower in game two. night two. Kick out. Ox Aries has flipped the momentum. Pin attempt here from PJ. Just a two count. Jonathan Vega is in big trouble, Brad. He is in big trouble right now. Look at that. He was in big trouble, but now a desperation type maneuver. That big DDT planting PJ's head into the mat. And can he get a tag, Matt? PJ makes the tag to Luke. Tag it here for Diego De La Cruz. Oh. Flying elbow from one half of the tag team champion. Oh. Now both champions taking the offense here to Luke Hawks. Oh, look at that. Back kick didn't get all of it, but enough to rock the Southern Stomper. And now Luke Hawks going to the outside right here in front of us. Larry over the top. PJ. Oh, what is this? Oh, my goodness. I've never seen that before. Incredible. Incredibly impressive move, but the official reminding La Familia that PJ is not the legal man in this match. I was so caught up, Matt Topolsky, I forgot myself. Luke Hawks, the man on the outside. La Familia had it won if they just had the right lottery ticket. What a maneuver that they just used on PJ Hawks. It was almost a double styles clash. Oh! Oh, neck breaker there from Luke Hawks. Now ducks under the advances of Jonathan Vega. Wow. And now Reyna screaming because she's worried that this run as tag team champions for La Familia might be short-lived. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Reyna anchoring herself to the right boot of the Southern Stomper. Oh, wait a minute. Luke Hawks dragging her in the ring. Now we saw that Christmas chaos. They have an interaction on the outside. Oh! Wait a minute, hey, hey! Luke Hawks manhandling 
no-brainer. Oh, here comes Aiden Cristiano! He saved just about enough of this! Aiden Cristiano going to work! Ring the bell! Oh, hell is breaking loose out here! Well, you can't blame Aiden Cristiano. Luke Hawks put his hands on his... Aiden Cristiano and Luke Hawks. And it's going to 